Hi, I'm OZ Hall. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. This video is part two of a series on the new Behringer VC16 vocoder Eurorack module. See a link above to part one if you haven't seen it yet. In part one, we introduced the module and explained the theory behind the VC16 vocoder. In this video, we continue our in-depth look at the VC16. We'll look at some different configurations and settings for the VC16. When we finish, you should have a basic understanding of the different internal carrier waveforms and the controls. We also show examples of using different Eurorack modules to modulate different parameters on the VC16. So before we get into the details of all of the carrier settings and examples, I wanted to do a very quick survey of what the carrier itself sounds like. And in order to isolate the carrier, what we're doing is we're taking a sawtooth output from this oscillator and making it our modulator. And we're going to use Synthesis Engine 1 and at the noon position, that's going to give us a triangle. And by the way, we've got the resonance all the way down here and these two set to noon. So let's listen. And, and there is your triangle. And just to hear the effect that this frequency has. And you can hear that a little bit better. And that's very close to the original triangle. So that's our baseline. And let's add modulation. So we're automatically sweeping this carrier shape. Let's go to the next one. That's your pulse. The next one. And that's that multi-wave uh, that kind of goes up an octave. Then bank two, this is noise, and this is basically going to act like a filter. And the next is a series of vocal formants. And finally we have FM. we have this VCO connected as our modulator into the VC16, what I wanted to do was, number one, set up CV and gate to control the pitch of the carrier. And we're going to use that CV also to control the pitch of this oscillator, which we're using as our modulator. And we're going to modulate this frequency. Instead of doing that by hand, we're going to do it from this envelope so that it functions as a high-pass filter. And that's the quick survey of the carriers more or less in isolation. Let's take a look at the different carriers. We have a bank one, synthesis engine one, which is going to be a triangle here, and a ramp here, and a saw, which sound the same, those two. And let's listen to the vocoder with that carrier. You can hear the additional high end when you have greater harmonic content from the sawtooth. Next, we're going to modulate the carrier shape 
with a triangle LFO. We've got a couple of LFOs and a couple of envelope generators here. And so let's take this LFO and patch it into the shape modulation. And we've got the amount turned up to about two thirds. And let's listen to that. And we can vary the speed of the LFO. Another thing that I'd like to try, you'll notice that if I change this content while I'm playing. Next, let's modulate the carrier shape from an envelope. And we're going to take this envelope, plug it into the carrier shape. It's being clocked by the square wave output of LFO number one. And let's listen to that. Next, we're going to take the square wave out of the LFO and route it to the carrier shape in. And we're going to create some rhythmic effects. Synthesis Engine 3 is called a multi-wave. It's basically similar to a triangle, but as you change the shape, it almost goes up an octave. Let's listen to that. And now let's modulate that with a triangle wave. So that completes all of the synthesis engines in Bank 1. Next, let's look at Bank 2. The carrier for Synthesis Engine 4 is noise, and the carrier shape controls a low-pass filter on the noise. We've got the resonance set to noon, and we're going to drive the carrier shape from the output of this sequencer, and it'll create a rhythmic gating effect. So you'll notice that noise makes a great carrier for speech. To clearly hear the carrier shape modulation from the sequencer, we're going to give a very sibilant sound. We can add expression to this rhythm by controlling the volume from the microphone. Next we have Synthesis Engine 5. This is a vowel engine. The carrier shape will cover several different vowels. It's a little odd to have a vowel sound that's shaped by another vowel sound coming from a microphone. So there are a couple of things we're going to do to make that not so redundant. Number one, we're turning the resonance down so that the microphone doesn't have such a dramatic effect on the carrier. And number two, we're going to accentuate the changes in vowels in the carrier using this sequencer. Another thing I want to point out is that I have put the envelope sensitivity all the way clockwise so that I can take a breath but still have this sequence playing. So let's go ahead and listen to that. So that's my demo of Synthesis Engine 5. Next, we'll look at Synthesis Engine 6. Synth Engine number 6 is FM, 
and it's got two built-in oscillators, one modulating the other. The setup on the front panel is virtually identical to the Synthesis Engine 5 setup. The difference is that we've changed sequences and the sequence has been custom made for modulating the second oscillator in the FM pair. So that's what we're going to demonstrate here is we'll start by going to the first one and and now let's start the clock So that completes looking at the six synthesis engines and some ideas on how to modulate the carrier shape. Next, we're going to look at polyphony and some different ideas on dealing with that. Using the internal carrier, you can have up to three notes at a time. If you're using CV and gate, you can have only a single note at a time. But if you use a polyphonic external carrier, then you can have as many notes as you want. Of course, they'll all be shaped by the single formant filter. And in that regard, it's more or less paraphonic. But the point is you can have all the notes you want. As we go into this, I want to point out the setup that I'm using. I'm using Synthesis Engine 2, and that's the pulse, and I've got this pulse set here so that I'll get a lot of high-end harmonics, and I can get the best definition. The resonance is set to noon. The formant is set to about 10.30 or 11 o'clock, and I've got an envelope sensitivity that's set to about 1 o'clock to give a little bit of release. So let's listen to three notes at a time. So I've set up a sequence up here. I'm taking the CV out and going into the CV in. I've got a gate here which is going constantly. And when I turn on the clock, we can get the sequence playing. We can also play a note on the MIDI keyboard. Let's listen to that. We're going to disconnect the gate and the CV and we're going to take this MIDI connection and we're going to move it over here to the Selena. And then we're going to take the output of the Selena and we're going to use that as our external carrier in. Let's play that. So the main point here is that with a fully polyphonic carrier, like the Selena string machine, we can have all of those notes processed through the vocoder. And let's listen to that. Autobahn. So with an external carrier, we have exceeded the three note limit of the internal carrier on the VC-16. And that concludes the polyphonic section of this video. So in conclusion, what do I think about the VC-16? Number one, it's great to see a vocoder in a Eurorack format 
where we can use all the modulation possibilities of our Eurorack system to control the carrier shape or to modulate the internal carrier of the VC16 with the FM input. There are definitely some limitations to the VC16 given the fact that it's a 16 channel vocoder. Modern vocoders can have up to 256 channels of bandpass filtering for some really exceptional articulation. It's interesting the number of carriers they've added to this vocoder. I would love to see a firmware update that would allow users to simply use this as a sound source or oscillator. That would be very helpful. It would be smoother if we could have some combination of button presses that would directly route the carriers to the output. That's all I've got. Thanks for watching this video. Please like and subscribe.